Okay, today is November the 1st, 2016, and right now at 10.30 uh, p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 49 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 83%. The dew point is 44 degrees, and the barometer is 30.02 inches, which is on the rise. We're looking at the uh, water vapor map here for the uh, Northeast Pacific, and we can see that uh, there is a huge area of high pressure being installed right here. And that is uh, redirecting the jet stream to the north, and that will also in turn uh, redirect this uh, big storm system right here. Yesterday, this was a hurricane force storm, and uh, today is a, just a, a storm, 988 millibar, I believe it is. We'll take a look at that on the uh, surface analysis map. We have a right angle also right here on the uh, near the uh, frontal system of that uh, uh, storm. And we can take a look here at the uh, the uh, rainbow loop, and we can see that uh, rainbow, or rather that uh, right angle. Go ahead and put a uh, put an envelope on that here. You can see that that is uh, fairly square. So there's a transmitter working on the uh, core of this system, the, uh, the center of that. And what'll happen is that uh, we can already see the split here in the frontal system. This was a spiral uh, yesterday and early this morning, and we can see there's a cut right here. And so what happens when they when they uh, when they uh, put that transmitter on top of that core is a microwave transmitter that's generating tremendous uh, heat energy, RF energy, and that will split the frontal system here. This will split off. We're already seeing that we have a straight line here. If we put that envelope back on there we can see we've got a fairly straight line there as well and uh, this will peel off and move away this this section of the front and then this will be all by itself and that's what they want to do and that way all this moisture which is a uh, potential energy will not spin back into that vortex this low pressure vortex and continue to uh, feed that uh, weather system okay so let's uh, run this and you can see what's happening. This uh, this was uh, heading right towards the uh, west coast. Now it's moving a sort of in a north uh, easterly pattern, and we can see that the uh, moisture in the jet stream has been all split up. There's a transmitter, as I mentioned, on this core and uh, on the vortex, the center of that, and also uh, splitting up right here this area, which is uh, dividing up this uh, jet stream flow here. Also, we have we can see that. Uh, split there in the frontal system. But what's happening here is that uh, instead of using chemtrails, this is such a big system, this is a powerful system, uh, they uh, opted to do this. And this is, uh, we're seeing less and less of this type of activity because it's so obvious. Uh, two years ago, before I started making these videos, uh, we would see this quite often. This would just park in place. They'd install it like we're seeing here. And everything would just run right into it. And, you know, you'd see these. Uh, the jet stream uh, running right into it and, and having to uh, steer around it like we're seeing here and right here and it looks just like a water running into a curb uh, it's quite interesting so that's that's what we're seeing here and that will uh, rise uh, raise up the uh, temperatures that will dry things out we've got a uh, moisture in the soil right now from that little bit of rain we had uh, by tomorrow or the next day a uh, thursday that will all be gone because of what they've done here to uh, blockade this storm and to move it back up into uh, Washington and Oregon. Okay, so we can see here that we've got a very wide uh, clearing here that's been engineered to uh, re-steer this weather system. Let's look at the jet stream map. And uh, we can see uh, this is really not depicting the, the uh, situation. We have a disruption right here. There's a transmitter applying heat, and that is uh, splitting up the moisture in this, uh, in that in that field, that moisture field there. That jet stream flow is, is being interrupted. And we can see that uh, everything is evaporating, and uh, they have stopped the uh, feed right, right into that uh, low pressure system here. So that is the that is the mission is to cut the moisture off from the weather system. And that's what they've done. 
by focusing microwave energy in this area. All right, let's go to the next maps here. This is the Western US water vapor loop. We can see that storm right here and that right angle. Look at that here. That's fairly square. And we can see that what's happening here. Everything is uh, having to uh, steer to the north because of all that high pressure that's been installed. And if we uh, look at yesterday's video, uh, <clears throat> going back to that water vapor map here, we can see that what's happened over the 24-hour period, we had a very narrow channel uh, last night that was moving towards the west coast, and that quickly was opened up into this a giant uh, spherical-shaped uh, area of high pressure. So in a 24-hour period, they, they were able to install a huge blockade which is uh, steering our weather, our rainy weather, that we desperately need up and away into the northwest and into Canada. So this is how it's done. And uh, they will not show this on the uh, news tonight. We'll get to see a cartoon animated uh, weather report. Uh, they will not show us this storm. Uh, Channel 9, Channel 5, Channel 4, KTLA, KNBC, KABC, all these jokers that do the weather uh, they're having to tap dance their way through it. Uh, they tell jokes on the side, and that's fine, but uh, this is pretty serious stuff. What we're seeing time and time again, Southern California is not getting rain, and these uh, people, these bozos that are doing the weather, being paid to do the weather, are not telling us the truth because they've been silenced into, into uh, you know, they've been, uh, they've been told, they've been gagged is what I'm trying to say. They've been told to shut up. And do as they're told. Just uh, report what's uh, put in front of you and, and shut up is basically the uh, instructions. Okay, so here's the southwest uh, water vapor loop. Uh, here we have California and Arizona. <clears throat> and we can see all that uh, high pressure that's been installed into place. It's a dark area right here. Uh, we had a lot of uh, nice clouds. Uh, today, uh, like the residual uh, rain clouds that were hanging around all day. And about 5 p.m., things started to really clear out fast. And this uh, area of uh, moisture right here is moving away. This was over L.A. about most of the day, all this weather here. Beautiful clouds. I didn't see any chemtrails today, by the way. Let's take a look at the uh, rainbow map. So. Uh, Another opportunity for uh, rain is, is being stopped. Now here is the uh, surface analysis map. And we have this storm right here. This is a 988 millibar storm. You notice the difference. Uh, is this thing is heading to the north uh, northeast, or rather the east-northeast, or sort of an easterly direction right here. This was heading right towards California yesterday, but since all of this high pressure was installed, we were just looking at, they have one, two, three, four highs indicated here, when in fact it's just one big, uh, it's one transmitter doing all that work. They've got four highs here. That's sort of misleading. Uh, but this is the uh, weather system that they are uh, blocking and redirecting right here. That will move into uh, Washington and Canada. And instead we will get warm, uh, dry weather, and all the... Uh, Moisture in the soil that uh, came from that last uh, one eighth of, of an inch, 0.125 inches of rain, will be uh, evaporated and, and uh, things will dry out again. All right, now that system we were just talking about, that 988 millibar system, that storm, is generating 33 foot swells right here. So this is a big system, this is a big weather system, and this would no doubt bring a lot of rain and cool weather to uh, Southern California, but that's being stopped. It's being prevented. Now here's the uh, 
sea level pressure analysis, we can see a low pressure right here. This is the system that's going to be redirected. We have, uh, this is 1,004 millibar. This is a low right here. And we have high pressure, 1,020, which is this entire area, the surface level all through here. So that's going to, uh, you see that, you can see that that will probably uh, redirect everything up to the north. All right, here's the uh, 500 millibar. We have that same system there, closed low at 500 millibar. And the 500, or the uh, 300 millibar. This is no longer a closed low because of the uh, transmitters that are uh, generating right angles and so forth on the core. That we can see a sort of a rectangle shape right here. All right, now here's the MODIS Today map. Uh, somebody brought up the northwest. Uh, uh, there's a lot of chemtrail haze. We can see that right here. We have natural clouds, this brilliant white stuff. All through here is uh, natural clouds. And then we have this. Haze. This is all chemtrail haze, right? All through here. And this stuff here is also chemtrail. If I zoom in one click on the 1000 uh, setting here, 1000 meters per something or other, I don't know what that is, but let's zoom in and take a quicker look here at the uh, state of Washington, for example. Here we have, I believe this is a, a Vancouver Island right here, I think. We have uh, the Olympia. I forget what they call this, the uh, Olympia Peninsula or something. Anyway, this is all chemtrail mix, and we can see that, that light gray haze and these streaks. They're all over the place. We can see the streaks down here. Uh, the haze is over this area of, of, of clouds, and over, if we pan over towards uh, Idaho, you see the same thing. But these chemtrails are being sprayed all over, uh, but they're just much more effective in uh, Southern California. Uh, the weather moving into the uh, Washington and Oregon, the storms that are moving into that area of the northwest have a lot more punch than they do down at the uh, southern latitudes where we are at uh, 34 north. All right, uh, but uh, the chemtrails are being sprayed, and that does help uh, minimize the uh, the uh, rain potential. Again, uh, I've mentioned that weather warfare. Uh, is, is probably part of this equation that we're uh, reporting every day. Uh, that's my own belief, but I don't know for sure. But uh, based on what's going on, the fact that the media is not reporting this, uh, there's a lot more to this uh, that we're not being told. And uh, we know that other countries have this technology. This, this is basically Nikola Tesla uh, technology that was taken and a use for, for these purposes. Instead of transmitting energy, free energy, uh, wirelessly, uh, this has been taken and uh, used for uh, bad purposes. And now the whole situation seems to be so out of control that uh, we have to rely on these uh, transmitters to deflect these gigantic storms, which are just moving in like a conveyor belt all uh, basically all year long, uh, but definitely more so in the uh, fall and winter months and the spring uh, months as well. All right, so that is the report uh, for today. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, leave it here. We can see what's happening. That storm will be redirected. And we can see what's happened. The frontal system here has been split right there. Okay, so that's it. We'll do another one uh, tomorrow.